So now let's see how we can work around with Brush Dynamics inside of GIMP. So over here you can see that I have Brush selected right here, paint brush, and if I were to click and drag this around, then you can see that I have this brush stroke right here. And no matter how I draw, you can see that it is quite constant. But what I can do is I can go around onto Dynamics right here and add in a basic dynamic uh, di uh, dynamics as you can see right here. And as I go around, you can see that the brush actually changes out the stroke over here. And it's uh, it looks more natural as you can see right here. You can go around and change around the fade length right here as well. So as you go around, you can increase out the fade length and you can go around and reverse this out as well as you can see. So that is what you have. And if I were to go around over here, you can also go to truncate and you can see that you have a different brush dynamics over here. If I were to go around over here onto the brush right here, so you can see that I have this brush, I can work around with the basic dynamics or I can select out another dynamic uh, option over here as well. So, so if I were to go around and click, then you can see that there's other dynamics that you can choose as well. Let's say, for example, there's confetti right here. And you can see that you get the confetti dynamics over here, just like that. Similarly, there's like a uh, color from gradient. Then you got the color from gradient dynamics right here, where you can go around and choose the color option over here, just like this. So over here, you can see that these are the dynamics right here. You can go around and select out, let's say, for example, perspective dynamics right here. Then you got that and so forth as you can see right here. You can go around onto different dynamics right here just like this and go for fade tampering and you can see that that is what you have. You got different dynamics over here just like this depending on what you select over here. You can go around and use repeat and sawtooth right here just like this and so forth right here. And there's blending mode as well and there's a different color options that you can choose over here from the gradient as well. And you can go around and utilize the dynamics just like this so that even for a simple brush, it looks quite interesting. So that is how you can utilize brush dynamics inside of GIMP. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. <laughs>